In this video we're going to continue looking at numeric integration, except this time we're going to look at something called the trapezium rule. Now the function that we're going to approximate the integral for, or approximate the area underneath, is the function in the top left corner, y equals 1500 over x squared, minus 120 over x cubed, plus 3x to the 2.5. And then on the right hand side of the screen we have an image of that function. Now, this time we're going to integrate the function, or we're going to approximate the integral for the function, between the limits of 2 and 10. And instead of using the mid-ordinate rule, we're going to use the trapezium rule. Now the trapezium rule is similar to the mid-ordinate rule, except this time what we will end up with is we will end up with trapeziums. And the first trapezium that runs between 2 and 3 will take the value of y when x equals 2 and the value of y when x equals 3 and it will use those to produce the trapezium shown on the screen there. We'd repeat the same between 3 and 4. So we'd use the value of y when x equals 4 and the value of y when x equals 3. We'd produce a trapezium and then we would be looking at the area of that trapezium. Next we have our value of y when x equals 5 we have our value of y when x equals 6, and so on, all the way to the end of the function. Now what we can see is that these trapezium will fit quite closely to the curve, and so what we would expect is a reasonably good approximation of the area underneath that function. Once we had the area of each of these trapezium, we could add the areas together to get the total approximation of the area underneath the function. Now what I've drawn on the screen there is the application of the trapezium rule using a step size of 1, because each of those trapezium has a width of 1. If we were to use a step size of 2, there is a difference. Our limits would remain the same, so we would be using limits between 2 and 10. But this time, our first trapezium would run from 2 to 4, so we'd find our y value when x equals 4, we'd find our y value when x equals 2, we would join those two points to produce the first trapezium. Now already you can probably see that that doesn't fit quite as tightly against the curve, but we'll continue anyway. Next, our second trapezium would run between 4 and 6. We'll join the y value when x equals 4 to the y value when x equals 6 to produce our second trapezium. And again, we would repeat that up to the top of our function, or up to our upper limit. So what we're going to look at next is the application of the trapezium rule to this function using a step size of 2, and then we'll compare that to the approximation of the integral that we get when we use a step size of 1. So on the screen here we have our function in the top left hand corner, y equals 1500 over x squared minus 120 over x cubed plus 3x to the 2.5. And I've also included the formula that's used for the trapezium rule. Now I've taken this directly from the equations and information sheet for the calculus topic, so you have access to this also. And in the bottom left hand corner I've started to calculate the values of y when x equals 2 up to 10. So I've calculated the value of y when x equals 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And I'm just going to run through how I'll calculate 9 and 10 with you now. So to work out the value of y when x equals 9, all I need to do is input the value of x of 9 into the formula replacing all of the x's. So first of all I'll have 1500 over 9 squared minus 120 over 9 cubed, plus 3 times 9 to the 2.5. So I'm just going to calculate those now. So when x equals 9, y equals 747.68. And that's to two decimal places. And when x equals 10, y equals 963.80. So first of all, we're going to use the trapezium rule with a step size of 2. 
So if you recall, our first trapezium ran from 2 to 4. Our second trapezium ran from 4 to 6, 6 to 8, and then 8 to 10. So if we look at our formula here, we've got I equals step size over 2. Well, our step size is 2. 2 divided by 2 is just going to be 1. Y0 is the value of y at our lower limit, so the 376.97. And to that, we're going to add two lots of all of the intermediate values of y. So 187.88 when x equals 4, plus 305.66 when x equals 6, plus our value of y when x equals 8, which is 566.26. We then need to close our bracket because we've only got one more value of y to add on, and that's our value of y at our upper limit of x equals 10. And what we notice from the formula is that that sits outside the rounded bracket. So we need to add on the value of y when x equals 10, 963.80. And then we need to close our square bracket. If we just look a little more closely at this formula, what we see is that the value of y at our lower limit is included once in the formula. Our value of y at the upper limit is included once in the formula. And all of the intermediate values of y, in this case, when x equaled 4, 6, and 8, are actually doubled in this internal rounded bracket. So if we run the numbers on that, the approximation of the integral using the trapezium rule with a step size of 2 gives us 3,460.37. Okay, so we're going to repeat that, except this time we're going to use a step size of 1. So we get I equals step size of 1 divided by 2, open brackets, the y value at our lower limit. So when x equals 2, y equals 376.97 plus 2 lots of all of our intermediate values. So this will be the y values when x equals 3 all the way up to 9. So we've got 208. 0.99 when x equals 3. We've got 187.88 when x equals 4. We've got 226.75 when x equals 5. We've got 305.66 when x equals 6. We've got 419.19 when x equals 7. We've got 566.26 when x equals 8. We've got 747.68 when x equals 9. And that's where we close our rounded bracket because the value of y when x equals 10 sits outside the rounded bracket. So plus 963.80. We close our square bracket. And when we calculate that through, we get 3,332.80 to two decimal places. Now what we need to assume at this stage is that the answer that's closest to the actual value of the integral is the one when we've used the smallest step size. So we need to assume that the integral of the function in the top left hand corner between the limits of 2 and 10 is 3,332.80.